Ah. Hello, good morning. It is January 2nd. I just woke up um, like an hour ago. There is dust on my lens that you can very clearly see in my black hoodie. I guess I'll have to do something about that. I spent the last two days trying to make a balaclava and that shit looks terrible. So bad, I don't even wanna like finish the video and show anyone because it's just like a big mess. So I'm gonna do something different and hopefully it'll work this time because I literally spent like 18 hours knitting that shit and it didn't look good. But I digress. What I'm gonna try now because I am getting impatient is I'm gonna try to knit a chunky balaclava with the hat that I started and showed in my last video, which I have right here, this. So I already started it and it was going to be a hat and it does have like the beginning of how I knit the hat with like a two, or it's like a, it has a one by one rib and then I usually go into a three by one rib. So I have already broken off into my three by one rib, but what I'm thinking is balaclava is essentially just like a hat that goes over your entire face with an opening somewhere in the simplest form. So this is what I have so far. So like if this were on my neck, I would be almost up to my head. And hmm, what am I gonna do? Do I want a slit for my eyes or like a whole circle open for my head? Mm, I kind of like the ones that are just like a hole, but I'm a little worried that I don't know what I'm doing. There are some that are kind of like just open, like it almost looks like a, a jaw. It's just like a line of cast off and then a little opening. So I could also do that. That looks a little bit more simpler, a little bit more simpler, a little bit simpler. <laughs> that looks a little bit simpler, but I kind of like the way the round ones look. I could also just do the slit in the eyes. I feel like that's probably the easiest thing to do. And I am worried I'm gonna mess it up at this point because I already messed one up. Okay, I'm just gonna try to continue to knit up until like my nose and then I'm gonna cast off just a little bit for my eyes because I feel like it's gonna grow because the last thing I knit that she grew, I left like this much of an opening and it, it was like this, like I don't even know how that happened. What I've done so far is I've cast on, I'm using size 15 needles and bulky yarn. Um, this is the yarn I'm using, I believe it is Malabrio <laughs> bulky yarn. I'm not sure the color because I did get this yarn from a friend who like already knit something that I unraveled. What I did so far was I cast on about 36 stitches which fits my head pretty well on these size 15 needles and I'm just gonna knit my rib pattern up until I get to my like bridge, the bridge of my nose. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna knit. Hopefully this works. Okay, I, I've gotten this far and I just put this on my head. It's a little tight because the needles are still um, on this, but this is what I have so far. I'm just working the three by one rib. I could probably cast off now. Okay, I think I'm gonna cast off now a little bit for the eyes. <sighs> okay, so this is what I have so far. It's like almost seven and a half inches right now. And I'm going to, like I just said, I'm going to cast off at the beginning of the round a little bit and then knit all the way to the end and then cast off the same amount at the end and then turn it and knit flat for like Maybe just like one or two rows because I don't want it to get too big and I feel like it is going to get bigger as I go. So I think I'm going to cast off four stitches on either side and then knit flat and I'll check in once I do that. <laughs> okay, so I was actually wrong and I did not cast off at the beginning and then I just cast off like eight stitches at the beginning and then I knit to the end. Now I'm gonna knit flat for one row. Actually, I'm gonna do two rows. I think I have to do two rows and then I'm gonna cast back on eight stitches. Okay, it's only been one row and I'm gonna cast back on because I don't know why this looks like slanted, but 
it's already like almost an inch so i'm going to cast back on i'm going to cast back on eight stitches and then continue to knit in the round until i get to the top of my head then i'm going to decrease and then i'm going to do the bind off where you pull the um tail through all the loops and pull it tight to close it in at the top of the head okay so i did cast off and cast on <laughs> for my little opening it's kind of square right now but i'm hoping it'll like stretch on my face and look a little bit better it's kind of giving like among us <laughs> but we'll see i also ran out of yarn so and i don't have any more of this so i'm gonna find something else to use to finish off the top i kind of want to use this pink yarn this is worsted weight so i would have to hold it double yeah, so maybe I'll hold it double because I do have a lot of this left over from the pink sweater that I mentioned in my last video. So what do we think? Green with pink? Bright colors? I think it might look cool, but who knows? This is an experiment. Okay, I'm going to knit the top of the hat, knit the top of the balaclava, and then I will show you the end, and then I'll show it to you. Oh my gosh, I cannot speak today. And then I will share with you 20 balaclava patterns that I found on Ravelry that I think are really dope and would totally make if I was gonna make more. And I would suggest following a pattern because what I did was a little rough. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. It have been like a what the hell kind of moment. Imagine you're in the midst of a political debate, a heated political debate on 4chan of all places. It almost became a creepy pasta of sorts in 2015 alone. This is what I made. It's a long beanie with a hole in it. Okay, here it is. It took me maybe like two hours to knit this. And it's definitely a little tight, but I think that's just because I use my hat pattern, which I usually knit kind of tight. I probably could have gone higher up on the top. It's like very tight on my mouth, so it's kind of muffled. Ugh. Okay, let's talk about patterns. I'm gonna wear it backwards. I found ugh, 20 patterns on Ravelry for balaclavas that I thought were cool. So I'm gonna share them with you. I separated them into three categories. One is just like standard balaclava, like fitted or just like a ski mask type, like classic balaclava. The next category is more like hood-like like um it's more like a detached hood versus like a traditional fitted balaclava and then the third category is is more like fun animals strange things the first one i found is by my favorite things knitwear which is like a uh, goals knitwear on instagram you should definitely check out their instagram and it's balaclava number two super pretty and classic and it has cables. I would really love to make this, it's so pretty. The next one I found is just called Balaclava. It's by Masha Zaychkina. I'm not sure how you say their name, but this looks like a really simple, but like classic Balaclava pattern. Kind of like what I tried to do, but with a lighter weight yarn. Okay, the next one is called Intarja Balaclava, and this just has a really cool color work pattern. I love the colors that they chose for the balaclava in the pictures. I think it's really cool and inspiring. Okay, the next one is called Korshavin Balaclava, and this one just has a little bit more texture. It has that kind of like knit and pearl, knit and, por knit and pearl checkerboard pattern. At least I think that's what's happening there. And it just looks kind of like cute and slouchy in the pictures. The next one is called the Snug Balaclava, and this one just had a really cool color work pattern. Yeah, kind of stripey, kind of like waffly texture. The next one, we may be leaving Fair Isle season now that we're heading, now that it's January, but this is the Fair Isle balaclava and I really like the way it fits the person wearing it, like kind of slouchy with just like the opening for the eyes. Um, and I like the way the top of it looks where the Fair Isle kind of like goes up to the point really nicely. Okay, the next one, this one's called Kos Kosalig Balaclava, and it just looks like a simple, like, simple, cozy, fuzzy, because they use fuzzy yarn, balaclava. I don't know, I think I just like the pictures. 
This one's actually really similar to the last one, but it's like, I think it's much longer in the neck. This one is called the Simple Chunky Balaclava. And again, maybe I just like this because of the pictures and the color, but I also like that it has like the round face opening if you want to like mix it up a little. Although I think some of the other ones also had round face openings. Okay, and then the last one in this category is actually a set of things. It's called the Cabinet Placement Winter Set. Oh, it's actually a crochet pattern and you get the pattern to make a little dicky, a balaclava and gloves and i just think like the color block pattern they did in this was super cool just like this is giving me like retro ski vibes <laughs> it just looks kind of cool let's move on to our next category these ones i feel like i would probably like make and wear more than like a traditional balaclava and these are hoods so the first one is called friend of the forest hood and i think really what got me was the first picture that green hood because it's just like slouchy and really open like the whole face is out and i could just picture myself like putting it on and off okay the next one is called the mika hood and this is kind of like the same thing but like a more cleaned up version i like that it's a hood but it's still like a little bit more fitted to the face and i like the shape of the hood like when it's on her back it's pointed and like a traditional kind of like sweatshirt hood shape which i think is cute okay the next one this is called the alba hood or no no it's called the hood alba and the what really got me was the drawstrings i really like the balaclavas that have drawstrings i think they're super cool all right and then this one is called the fuzzy pixie hood and this one this one is a different shaped hood it's definitely giving like woodland woodland creature vibes with that like kind of like little red riding hood i don't know what i'm trying to say but it's cute, <laughs> I like it. And then the last one I found it in this category is called the Kenny Hood. And again, it just like, I think it was the draw cords that got me. It's like a slouchy, slouchy hood. This one's more round and it has like a really slouchy neck, which is nice. It looks super cozy. I feel like I'm like, why am I doing this so fast? Okay, last category is animals and other weird things. Not that animals are weird, but you know, you'll see what you'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. The first one is My Sweet Lamb by Knit Cafe Midori. So I did the My My Dear Lamb balaclava, and I think the difference is that the one I did had like little ears, and this one has bigger ears. I'm not sure, but. I have already done a pattern by this person and I really liked their patterns. It was really easy to follow. Oh, this is just like the youth version. So this is just like the youth version. There is an adult version and I did do that. I'll link that below as well. Okay, this one is super weird. It's a crochet pattern, but I just like, I could not include it because I was like, whoa, what is that? It's called the Funky 70s Inspired Ski Face. <laughs> And it's kind of giving clown vibes. I like that you make her hair too. Like, I feel like if I saw someone skiing wearing this, I would definitely do a double take. <laughs> it's kind of epic. And I love that there's like a little hole for the nodes to poke out of. The next one, this is for, um, oh, I guess it does go up to adults. So it's for everyone, but it is pictured on a toddler. It looks like it's the dino balaclava, super cute. I love the little dino spikes down the head. The next one is called the frog balaclava and this is just so funny. I love the eyes and the zipper. I think the zipper is so cool. Like you can just zip it right up and yeah, like those hoodies, those babe hoodies. Okay, and then the next one is the bunny balaclava. I feel like we've all seen these on Instagram recently. Everyone's making these bunny balaclavas. This is a crochet pattern and I don't know if this is who originally did it. I'm not sure who did like the first one. It's the only one I found on Ravelry when I searched. Pretty cool though, long bunny ears. The next one is called the Berkeley Balaclava and it's for, it also goes up to adult sizes, but it's just a cute little like bear. I'm getting, I think it's like a bear or maybe like a little monkey. It's so cute. It's pictured on this little baby and it looks so cute. I bet it would look cute on a grown up too. Okay, and then the last one I found is another crochet pattern and it's called the Dragon Ski Mask with Tail. And the tail is like the most epic part. Like you knit, you make a balaclava, but it has a tail. So it's kind of like the other one, but like it's gone a bit further. I love it. And I love that it has like a big mouth that you put your head in. Okay, those are all the patterns that I found. My camera is literally flashing at me that it's about to die. I'll put all the patterns linked below. Let me know what you think of my scrappy balaclava. And if you've made a balaclava, let me know like how you made it or if you used pattern or if you just made it up as you went along. I'm very curious and 
I love that so many people are wearing them this season because they're kind of a fun, strange accessory. All right, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.